good. Why? Wait, do you have a sick room? A sick ass room. No, I'm not. I mean, it's hot. I can't tell, like, if you're, you're like, so, so drunk that I don't even know. I'm always talking. Okay, so I do have a question, Leah. I have a, I have a question. Like, if you drank this week, would that be a big deal? This month, I guess my question. Um, it would ruin my life. Okay, oh, well then, yeah. okay, well, well you know what, here we go. Because right before you got here, Heather was like, let's get Leah a drink. And I was like, no, Whoa. it would ruin your life. I thought you would just want to, like, throw down. No, I was like a drug addict alcoholic. I like read that. your book. Oh, you, oh. Wait, hold on a second. You read my book? <laughs> you shady <laughs> biatch. What? No, like, you want like me to drink? Like, that's like, you being I... like, kill yourself. I'm, like, shocked. That's not funny. You don't make jokes about somebody relapsing. And the reason why I was checking in was because yeah. she said, let's get Leah drunk. And I was like, whoa, oh. that's rude. But but now we know why, because we checked in. That's yeah. interesting. That was... <laughs> what the f Are you going to throw me under the bus like that? It's Housewife Tradecraft 101, and I am a little girl swimming with floaties in the ocean full of sharks. And I'm going to have to wise up. Are we ready for lunch, Pepsi? Do we have everyone? No, we're waiting for Alexia and Marisol. You know your Fanta that you brought for your vodka? Oh, yeah, put that over there by the mini bar. Maybe I need to make my own drink because I don't like that stuff Pepsi made. Sometimes when you're nauseous, you know? I don't know, maybe I'll make a little something here. So tiny, it's so miniature. Maybe I'll have a mini cock. I, I need Tylenol for my head. I have Pepsi. Why don't I get my swimsuit and Tylenol? Because I have both. Pepsi! Can you also get Marisol and like I don't know what it is. Pepsi, is this lunch? Is it buffet style? Yeah, it's like a grab and go. It's a roll, it's a tofu, vegetable, this is pad thai, and it's a chicken. Oh, we got chicken wings? We got chicken wings. Let's so, just start eating because why are we you waiting? Know, yeah, Marisol just said she doesn't need to eat. Here, so. And so let, let's like get it on. Yeah, let's okay. do it. That was really odd, yeah. right? A little bit. I, I, never she read your book. Book. I can't believe she read my book and then said that she, it's literally about drug addiction. <laughs> Heather wants me to relapse on this trip Is for Heather her own here? entertainment. Is that what no, she said? Really Right oh, she went she, go? she went to go change? She went to probably, like, okay, go so get drugs okay, so to give me. Okay. I mean, what happened? Heather always makes jokes, and what oh. she doesn't yeah, realize is that her jokes hurt. And the next yeah, thing you know, she's not going to remember it. Heather's like a giant toddler, because when she does or says something that people don't like, she doesn't remember doing it. You know what? I want another piece of chicken. No. But when your toddler does something funny and it makes you laugh, they keep doing it. Toddler behavior. Where are these Miami people? Do we go in this way? Yeah, we can go right here. Ah. Oh, hello. Look, we found Miami. Yes, Miami. Miami's Miami has Miami. arrived. Miami. So sorry. Do you want something to drink? I have to apologize to everyone. My stomach's not great, and I'm feeling bad. I'm trying to rally. Are we all here now? We're all here, finally. Here's to all of you fabulous ladies. I can't wait to get to know all of you better. Being a housewife, it really is a sisterhood, and that's something I'm starting to see. Oh, my God. Drink all of it. The whole thing. The whole thing. Oh, my God. The whole thing. So you don't want to force people to drink. I want to ask Portia because... Oh, bitch, you coming for me? No, no, not coming for you. Yeah, because back. you've been around the longest. You've, you've, you've been able to build your I brand. I love this trip. Seven that's the first million time. followers. Yeah, you've been able to build your brand off of this platform. <laughs> the All biggest. How do you feel? How do you feel since you started to now, like, the whole fame game and your brand, your, your, your feelings on it? Right. So the first year was like, you, you become super famous. Yeah. Like, out of nowhere. And it's like, oh, my God. Like, I got Instagram the year I started. I didn't even have Instagram. Wow. wow. And then the second year was my divorce. And I realized, like, well, damn. I'm, like, have more followers than money in the bank. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, I have to monetize in some type of way. Yeah. And then that's when I started doing club booking. Yeah. And then by the third year, I was like, no, I need to have a business. Yeah. And then, you know, like, all of that happened. Yeah. And, like, for me, I feel like... Towards me getting to like my last year when I decided, okay, I want to retire, uh -huh. is when I really decided my brand has to stand alone from Housewives. Yep. Yes. Yep. Never, never betrayed Housewives, because even now, whether I like them or not, I'm not going to betray them. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not going to betray the brand right, right. and never be like, the hand that feeds yeah, you. they're horrible, they're right. boring, or so 
throw them off the show and then like drag it through the mud? And I'm why? like, it gave you everything. But why would you do that right? when at the end of the day, it's there for you. Exactly. It's, it's a sisterhood, it's there. That's your source. That's how I see it too. It's like the hardest and the best thing. But so it's do crazy. You it? Do you regret oh, New York? No, not at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, not at all. But I had a bad season. Uh, it was hard. Are, so are you guys coming back? What's, yeah, up what's with that? happening with it? I have no Will idea. No, to, are, you, are you still a housewife? No, I don't. Are you on there? I don't, have they said anything to you guys? Like, do you know anything? Um, Moving forward? I don't know what's happening with New York. Okay. No, no, no. Why you about this now? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm honestly really not. I have a question, Heather. You and I talked. You talked about your relationship with Whitney. I hear there's some rumblings of the cousins not getting along these days. Yeah, we had a rough go. She's no longer little buddy, you know? Okay, okay, well, we'll see how that works out. Y'all seem to be great since we've been here. Y'all holding hands and stuff. So, like, is there an issue or not? seem to be great since we've been here. So, like, is there an issue or not? I'm like, hello, Linda Tripp. You might have told me that you're recording me when we were talking as friends. Yeah, I'm Monica Lewinsky without the semen on my dress. Well, there's, there's like, residual issues just because we broke up. Like, we were, we were in love and we broke up season three. When we started season three, Everyone hated Lisa Barlow. So it was like season 13 let, let, for me. Let's get, Got it. Let's not... There was a lot of rumors going around about Lisa. In a moment, my drunk ass in lingerie gets the rumors out. It's rumored that one of your <laughs> that has the jazz tickets th that you've you. been involved with. Are you crazy? I'm not crazy. In the moment, yes. I needed Heather to validate that she knew what I was talking about with the rumor. I had never heard that specifically ever said in my life. And I just said, I've never heard that. And she's like, you're a liar. And I said, Whitney, you're acting drunk. You're acting no, crazy. No, you called me a liar. You pushed me into the window. Because and I was lost in that. You me a f***ing cannibal. We f***ed up. I never heard that. Please. You just lost me for f***ing ever. Ooh. What? Ooh. I did because what? you were talking <laughs> bull <laughs> This got good. I need to watch Salt Lake. Heather. You gonna be watching this? I need to watch it. Okay. But y'all being cousins, though, to be honest with you, I'm not, not gonna lie. It is definitely not about what we're talking about right now. Uh, this is like a stride that broke the camel's back. Yes. And Whitney, do like, you feel you like you she's done, done more for Jen than you? Yeah, I think that's what was brewing. Because she is watching you ride for someone yes. who's being lie guilty to face. or lie to your face. And it's ruining your relationship with Whitney. I don't appreciate being gaslit by Whitney. I know that I show up for my friends. I know that I have 100% shown up for Whitney. I have never not had your back publicly or privately. When you came up and in the middle of a trip that was not about you, not about you stirring the pot, not about you making a moment, talking about Lisa, it was really We're filming a, trip. a TV show. Okay, well then you chose the TV show over over no, me. And you, I, you I actually, no, you the sacrificial lamb, and no, that to me not. is a compromise of yes, character. Yes. Yes. That's no, but that's true too. That's yes, up. I have to yes, agree yes, with Heather. If you did it well, for a TV moment, that's up. Exactly. I'm gonna agree with Heather. If you're gonna oh, f me, don't tell me it's for the show. I never thought you would compromise and our I, friendship I for a TV I moment think that ever, I, and you did. did. I know we believed as Mormons a lot of crazy, sh but this rumor is too dumb, too damaging for me to sign up for it. My integrity as a gossiper is affected by this rumor. If I just like blindly sign up and say it's true, it's not true. Heather cares more about looking good on the show and having her hands clean. She handed me a grenade, took the pin off, let me blow up and walk away before any shrapnel hit her. That's why it hurts so deeply because we're family. I'm gonna own what I did. I did not do that for TV. Okay. Where I went wrong was I pulled our outside of the show friendship in because I needed you. Ooh, outside I, of the friendship, Whitney, it never happened. Okay, table, table, table. we're tabling. Table. 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 Cheers. Cheers to tabling yeah. the conversation. Yeah. All right, to cousins, to cousins, to cousins. Listen, we all know I like a good little back and forth, but every now and again, I get sick of hearing it. So I'm done with this one, okay? Pick it up later, because it's giving me indigestion. I know. <laughs>